Um, actually, look at this. Benny Oldfield's got from quite a long way behind the, the lead. Right. Simon knocking on the door of the lead as they go side by side in turn one. Just get him here. Daniel Reynolds has had more competition in this uh, uh, state championship round, uh, excluding the national round uh, for our first round this year, where uh, he actually lost a race, believe it or not. Lost two, didn't he? Lost two. What a surprise. And, uh, but... Uh, uh, for a non-national round, this is a lot of competition going on. Oh, plenty wide there. Uh, Simon, obviously, pushing hard. Oh, Benny Oldfield, look at this. He's Ben's made a lost mistake. a few spots. Quite a few spots. So. Yeah, Darren Williams has gone up the inside, and uh, Gary Ogden's probably got a chance to have a look in as well. They've caught Ben quite quickly, haven't they? Because uh, about half a lap ago, Ben probably had a 20 or 30 metre lead over. Well, looking at his approach in a turn two, he went pretty wide, so he might have been looking more at his uh, mirrors than he was looking forward. OK, there's first and second through, turn three. Okay, so, he, so there's Five, Darren Williams. Fifth, sixth and seventh. Okay, um, the next group behind, Dean Kavanagh is uh, Morgan Freeman, Morgan running Freeman. pretty lonely, and uh, Corinne and Gary York. Uh, Steve Gamara. He got, he got ahead of uh, Craig, Craig Collins. Yeah, Craig uh, bit off the pace in this one. Okay, so he's on, he's on board as Ben, Benny Oldfield in the CXC Stinger. He'd be pretty brave to have a dive up here unless you get a really good run. So, but he's looking at it. No Satel Racing uh, in fourth gear, fighting for third place here. Yeah, yeah, so uh, Darren Williams was watching his mirror, so he obviously saw that uh, the, that Benny was there, so he, he's pushing as well, Darren, he, he, he used a lot of track on the exit of five. Oh, Benny's uh, consciously did that deliberately, that uh, helps him keep a bit of speed up there uh, through turn six and now onto the new section. Yeah, it, uh, Benny had to have a little lift there through the old six, seven. Uh, Dan, okay, so Daniel's actually going to have got a car lead, probably from uh, Simon's mistake at turn two, so Daniel's got a little bit of breathing space. Right, here we are. Here's the battle for third. Okay, yeah, Ogden's all over him too. That's right, and uh, Dean Kavanagh. He's had a dive. Gary's had a go at Ben and he's taken Ben. Oh. So can Ben recover? Ben stays there. Ben stays in well, it. Yes, he does. Oh, but he's twice around him. Okay, so from having the lead, Ben's now defending fourth place. Yeah, okay, so he's uh, now, once you get caught up in another battle, it becomes a lot harder to pull the lap times because you start you know, running some defensive lines and whatnot. All that pressure, no doubt. A lot of pressure on his shoulders. Lee Porter's still running with these 1200s, so I, I think he might might be out of plug or, you know, I don't know. There's something funny going on with look, that car. Look at that great drive by Peter McDonald. Now, this is his first race meeting. He only had his licence approved at the observed licence test two days ago. And there's second, third, fourth and fifth, and nose to tail in the 1200 class. And second is Bernie Cannon, who's a two-time New South Wales State champion. That's right. So, and uh, oh, I hope they're all having a lot of fun, you know, nice close racing, the whole the whole pack of them in, in this race. OK, so it looks like uh, Benny Oldfield uh, has made a, a little bit of a car length on, on uh, Gary Ogden there, but Darren, uh, Dee Kavanagh's still with them. Uh, and he's Corinne, Corinne, Corinne's Corinne. Caught, caught up. No, that was Morgo, actually. Morgo, yeah. a bit hard to tell with Stephen Kamara. Both similar jaces and dark uh, colours. Back to the lead. Daniel Reynolds, Simon Pace. Simon down the middle of the circuit. Yeah, he wasn't using the toe at, any, at all there. He's using the toe. Look at this. Darren Williams, followed by Betty Oldfield. Actually, uh, Gary Hook, uh, Gary Ogden is not quite in that toe. Gary's lost a bit of distance because he was he had a go at uh, Ben Oldfield in the lead CXC stinger. OK, uh, so Corinne, a Corinne and uh, Gary Hook here. Gary Hook must have got the toe around the outside of Corinne. Looks like uh, Craig Collin got the toe around uh, Steve Gamara as well. Uh, Gary Hook, I think he's just uh, realised that he's not right up there like he was. He was up in fourth and fifth place in the last race, but when you're this far back after the setback on the first lap, you might as well just drive safely to the end of the race. OK, so this, 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 this battle for third is a pretty fierce one here. So, um, OK, this is uh, for six, six, seventh round here. Morgo. Morgo's actually made a, made a car link. So actually, no, I think Gary Hook's caught up to Morgo. Morgo's sort of falling back a little bit. I wonder if his car's temperature still is getting a, a bit hot. Still a fair, fairly comfortable gap, though. Maybe. We'll see. And we'll check back in there in half a lap to see how it's going. Yeah. Craig Conlon in that beautifully rebuilt uh, blue and white car. Okay, so he's on board with uh, Benny Oldfield. He, he had a look at Darren at turn four last time around. And he's got a good run on him again. Looks like he'd go yeah, up. He's 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 same as last lap. Yep, OK, so he's, he's through here now. Right, Darren Williams obviously uh, knew Ben was there. Oh, he's touched the dirt. Oh, look at this. Left. Right, left, right. He's had to right. work pretty hard to he keep the car. He will he keep it on? Oh, he does. Oh, oh, oh he gives himself a pat on the head as well. Oh, oh wasn't happy with that. Oh, I reckon he slammed his head in frustration. Uh, he's kept the position, but he could have thrown it away. That was a stuffer. Back to the leader in the superb-looking sabre. He's very good. Where's number one on his car, deservedly? Okay, so and, and um, Simon Pace has done a very good job this year. You've got to follow a lot of the front guys. 
uh, from last season, not not running this year. And Simon's really, really stepped up and he's doing a fantastic job. Gary Ogden looking up the inside of that hairpin again as he did the last lap. Yeah, he wagged his tail too. He really tugged on that wheel and the tail stepped out on him. Yeah, I don't think he loses the drive. Oh, is that a touch? Didn't see it, but uh, that, that was a battle for third place. Third, fourth, fifth and sixth there. Oh, I, I think Dean Kavanagh touched the outside of... Um, he might have hit Gary. Yeah, oh, Gary there. He's starting to go around the outside and Gary didn't get the drive out of the corner because of the uh, Bad luck, Dean. It was a good attempt to take uh, Gary out, but it failed. Better luck next time. Let's see what happens. We can see when they come up to the old turn on U-turn 15. Butcher in the 1200s. Uh, clearly leading that class on his own. So And Daniel Reynolds there, clearly leading the open class 1600s with Simon Pace in second. A very comfortable gap back to Ben. Now, Ben... Ben's got a gap now. So that's right. He, he pulled away. We saw that going, as they were going down the hill. So there's Dean. So Something's Dean's, happened. So here. Dean's actually hasn't had the drama. Dean's actually got around. And Gary's Gary. lost a lot of distance. And now we've got Morgan and Gary Hook and Corinne have made up right up on Gary Ogden. So Gary... Oh, Steve Gamara slided in under the side. Two the slides. Last, last lap. Daniel Com- Reynolds comfortable. Simon Pace comfortable in second place in the Red Mako. And there's third... As uh, in the the lead CXC Stinger, Ben was moving a little bit offline. Yeah, I just think you need. I think he 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 knows that you don't really want to be leading uh, coming onto the straight at the end of this uh, last lap. Otherwise, there's a good chance you'll get towed to the start finish line. And uh, you know, Benny Benny Oldfield hasn't had a podium before, and his, his intention was to lease out a fast car and see if he could get one. And he's doing the job at the moment. He's doing. He's uh, got third place. Uh, great performance. Well, Darren Williams will try and get it away from him, and he's got he's got a full lap, a 4.5 kilometre lap to do it. And as you said, it's not uh, not the track that you want to be leading oh, coming oh, on in the last he's lap. made a mistake. He's gone wide. Darren's made up heaps of ground. Oh, Ben, you must be feeling the pressure. Come on, just relax. OK, there's Dean Kavanagh getting Gary Ogden there as well. Gary is uh, self-engineered. Corsica. Okay, so and, um, it looks like Gary Hook's got around uh, Morgo well, as well. He went down the inside of Morgo into turn one, so uh, Gary's showing a bit of that determination that he's been demonstrating in, in this race meeting. Okay, he's Butcher also running fairly wide. He likes a wide entry, he's been doing that every lap, so... He's probably a bit of smoke. He's yeah. a puff of smoke, probably yeah. most likely out the right-hand rocket cover. Okay, so he's a more traditional line here from Bruce Perry here. No, that's Lee Porter. Oh, Lee Porter, so yeah, he's a pretty traditional fella. And he's Bruce Perry. And Bruce has got second in the 1200 class. Bernie running wide again, but look at Michael Gale's actually dropped back. Michael, you would expect to be in second place, but he's uh, now running in uh, fourth place in the 1200. And he, and he won the last race, actually, the last race. Yeah, Peter That's McDonald's right. still quite close with that group, too. Yeah, good, good job, Peter McDonald. Good job, Peter, this weekend. You're driving uh, uh, with more experience than, uh, than you, you should be given credit for. Well done. OK, so here's, here's Darren. This is the battle for the final podium position. It's the only real battle for of significance in the race because... Uh, the lead of both categories is pretty much, oh, Gary Ogden's going to dispute that. He's, he's getting say, carried away with these desperate braking manoeuvres down this corner. That's an old Mako tradition. He, he's, he's tried that with that move for about four times. It hasn't worked once. Well, if you don't lose too much time on the exit, you might as well keep trying it. I think he has lost a bit of time. OK, that rip, a ripple strip on the outside is very well placed. The boys running their wheels right across it. Yeah, it's only a light little four to, so you can get a little vibration, but it's not too bad. So here's the lead 1200. Stevie Butcher doing a fantastic job in... He's, this is the old Stinger. This is a um, uh, Stinger 005. He sold his new one, so um, hopefully we'll see that new Stinger running at some point, but I think it might be just destined to hill climbs. All right, last lap. Uh, last time into Turn 9 by the leader, Daniel Reynolds, in the red vintage V-Dub Sabre. Okay, followed by Simon Pace in the Mako. Pace, uh, uh, heavy-duty uh, uh, excavations. Drilling, doesn't he? he does and drilling as well. Okay, so... Darren Williams all over the back of uh, Benny Oldfield, and Benny won't be liking the look of that in his mirrors with a straight to come. Dean Kavanagh, a good return to racing after a long break ahead of Gary Ogden. OK, so uh, Gary Hook's got a little gap there on... He okay. does, and here we go, across the line. Daniel Reynolds, very comfortable Ooh. win. Simon Pace, a, a good run to take second place. OK, so let's have a look at the toe. Darren's got the toe. He's, oh, he's... That was pretty tight up against the white line on the left-hand oh, side. He, yeah, he went to defend, and then he opened it up, so I think... I think Benny might have got that. It looks like he's got it. Ben's got third place ahead of Darren Williams. I wonder if Darren's happy he's about just... that. No, I would suggest not. That, that looks neck and neck. I couldn't neck get that neck. one. Yeah, we wonder who got that. Looks like Gary Hook might have just got Morgo, followed by Corinne. Okay, here comes another. Steve Gamara and Craig Steve Conlon. I think Craig Steve Conlon. got that. Very good result for Corinne because she obviously started way further back in that race. So he's Stevie Butcher, the Leap 1200. Fantastic job. Leaps, leaps ahead of the field. He's... he's uh, uh, 
probably happy to bounce back after a DNF in the race and doing lap times you know pretty close to the, uh, the, the 1200 lap record Lee Port obviously with problems Lee we uh, we would expect you to be further up and I'm sure you will be in the next round Bruce Perry oh look close, bat- close battle there Bruce Birdie Michael Gough for second third and fourth in 1200s yeah okay, this is Peter McDonald here now also being a uh, first round at this this racetrack Daniel Reynolds also takes a new lap record in the 1600s and and the race win with Simon Pay second Benny Oldfield with a with a third place in the Lee CXC Stinger so great effort for him first podium and Stephen Butcher uh, taking the 1200 class with the lap record as well. Bruce Perry, well done for second. Bernie Cannon, third place and a trophy. Uh, Michael Gale, dropped back a few spots. And Peter McDonald, you weren't too far back in your debut race meeting. Well done.